Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For all of you who are new here, I'm Tanya. I came to Canada as an international student and now I'm working over here full time. So some time back, I made a video revealing my IELTS general score and showing you how my IELTS exam experience was. I got an 8.5 band and I asked you guys if you wanted to know the tips and tricks and a few things that I did to get the score. And so many of you wanted to know what were the things that I did. So guys, I'm going to be making a series covering all the four parts of the IELTS exam and what you need to do, what are the tricks to crack them and get the best scores. Since reading was the most requested one, this video is going to be all about reading and how to get an 8.5 band in reading. So guys, this is applicable for your academic as well as general exam. And these are the things that I did. So it's all my opinion and my suggestion. If you want, you can follow them. They really helped me. So number one, and I did this so, so, so many times is solve a lot of mock tests. So there are so many mock tests available on the internet. While you sign up with the British Council, they also send you a book of the IELTS exam with a few mock tests in that too. So the trick to this is solve as many mock tests as you can. If you know your IELTS test is in a week, har din ek mock test kijiye. So that when you're in the exam, you know what is going to come. You won't be surprised ki ye kya hai. You know ki uske teen section honge, these are the questions. These many questions will be asked. This is the time limit that you have. So guys, mock test karna bahut zaruri hai. You might feel like you're good at English and I mean it's an English exam, how difficult can it be? It is not that difficult but it is very different from just reading. It is a test that you're giving so you should know ki wo test kaisa hoga. So number one, solve a lot of mock tests and there are so many available on the internet so you shouldn't have a problem finding them. Jitne ho sake solve karo. Now while you're solving these mock tests, aapko IELTS exam ka structure to pata chal jayega. So basically in reading you have 40 questions which you need to solve in 60 minutes. So three paragraphs hote hai just the 40 questions hote hai divided and wo aapko ek ghante ke andar solve karna hai. So another really important thing is that you need to learn to manage your time properly. And ye cheez bhi jab aap mock test solve karenge aap samajh jaoge ki how much time needs to be given to each paragraph that is coming. So ye jo teen paragraph hote hai usme se first usually sabse easy hota hai. So don't take more than 15 minutes in that. And next wale pe maybe take 20, 25 minutes and then give the maximum time that you have in the third one. So at least 25 to 30 minutes third wale ke liye rakhiye. So basically what it means is ki agar aap ek question nahi answer kar pa rahe ho, don't waste your time on it. Leave it, mark karke rakh do usko and towards the end when you have time, tab aap usko solve kar lena, you try to solve it at that point. But don't waste your time on one question and aisi situation nahi chahiye aapko ki in the end you get the answer to that one question ek and aapke baaki ke 10 question chhoot jaye. So managing your time is very very important and aapko extra time nahi milega especially when you're doing a computer test jaise hi wo 60 minutes ho jayenge it will stop by itself so you will have no extra time and if you don't mark any answer aapko uske points nahi milenge so be careful with your time carry a watch with you if you want they also have timers agar computer based hai to you will have the timer on your computer so just be very careful and time ka bahut dhyan dena so my next tip is read the questions first. So guys, you might try to read the whole paragraph and understand it. But aapko pehle questions pata hone chahiye to be able to find answers to them. So read the questions, understand them and then look for keywords that would help you answer those questions. So another thing is aap soch rahe ki 60 minutes and so many things to do. So here's one thing that can save your time. Don't read the whole paragraph, skim through it and look for keywords. So, if you know that you have to find an answer to one thing, look for that in the paragraph, try to underline it and then answer them eventually. But if you're going to read the whole paragraph, you will go a lot of time. Just skim through it. So, this is very important. This will help you save time. Don't panic if you don't understand each word. Sometimes, without understanding everything, you can understand the meaning of the sentence formation. 
so if you don't understand one or two words it's fine don't panic you can still get a good score so that being said ielts mein it is not necessary ki wo aapko exact jo answer hai wo text mein denge there will be a lot of paraphrasing so paraphrasing means ki wo usi cheez ko alag words alag vocab use karke सेंटेंस में डाल देंगे आई एम ट्राइंग टू थिंक ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल टू गिव यू टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेटर सो ऑल आई कैन थिंक ऑफ इज से द पैराग्राफ इज अबाउट मी एंड द क्वेश्चन इज वेर इज तानिया फ्रॉम डोंट एक्सपेक्ट कि वहाँ पर लिखा होगा तानिया इज फ्रॉम इंडिया इन दिस एग्जैक्ट ऑर्डर इट माइट से तानिया इज एन इंडियन इन कैनेडा दिस इज एन ईजी वे ऑफ पैराफ्रेजिंग सो अगर ऐसा लिखा होगा तो यू माइट गेट अ लिटल कन्फ्यूज बट इफ़ यू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ इट तो आप उसका आंसर दे सकते हो सो दिस इज़ अ वेरी ईजी एग्जाम्पल आई गेव यू इट कुड बी अ लिटल मोर डिफिकल्ट विच इज़ वाई इट इज़ रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ गुड वो कैब गाइज आयुस ऐसी चीज़ नहीं है जो आप दो तीन दिन में सीख सकते हो इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू स्कोर वेल यू विल नीड मंथ्स एंड मंथ्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इफ़ यू फील लाइक योर इंग्लिश इज़ वीक I recommend कि आप पहले ही practice करना शुरू कर रहे हो बिकॉज इट इज़ अ होल लैंग्वेज योर लर्निंग इट के नॉट बी डन इन टू थ्री डेज और अ वीक सो इफ़ यू हैव टाइम इन योर हैंड आई वुड से लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ वो कैब एंड ट्राई टू लर्न अ न्यू वर्ड एवरी डे एंड दैट विल रियली हेल्प यू अनदर थिंग दैट आई वुड रेकमेंड एंड आई डिड टू वॉज रीडिंग अ लॉट ऑफ बुक्स रीडिंग एज मच एज यू कैन इन फैक्ट जो चीज़ आपको दिखती है start reading it be it newspapers being books being anything like even the instructions or the directions behind your shampoo you will be surprised aapko kitni nayi cheeze seekhne milegi read a lot of books and don't only read the kind of books that you like you need to read different genres like i used to get really scared when any of the science kind of texts used to come in my mock exam and i would not know if i'll be able to solve them so i did a lot of reading around that so that i get used to the language that they use and i get used to those terms so ye karne ke baad mere liye mock test answer karna easy hota tha and i wasn't scared ki ye type ka question na aa jaye and you can only do this when you have 2 3 months or even more in your hand so start preparing already start early so that you can score well so another thing that i really like and this will help you overall even when you move to canada is speaking in english so jiske sath bhi aap baat kar pao talk to them in english as much as you can so that when you're writing your exam you're familiar with that language you're familiar with the words and that will really help you out again guys it is important to have time in your hand and it is important to give time to this exam specially agar aapko lagta hai ki aapki english thodi weak hai to you need to give a lot of time towards it i hope this video was informational and i hope i could answer your questions if you have any more ielts related specially reading related questions drop them down in the comment section and let me know which is the next one that you would like me to make a video on would it be listening speaking or writing drop it down in the comment section too and i will see you guys again soon till then bye